Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economic events, charts and important levels on the Forex Pisami.com forum weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit ForexPisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody, let's take a look again on the gold market. So on the gold market we agreed yesterday to keep an eye on performance around 1920 area. Just because technically this area is suitable for a possible bounce. The market stands oversold on the daily chart. Inner targets, intraday targets have been completed. I mean the couple of the OP extensions on the hourly and four hour time frame chart. And that is also major 30% support. So this is together we get um, as the should not play bullish stretch pattern as agreement support. So at least we could say that uh, this area potentially might become the support where the pullback could start. But uh, currently the problem stands with the anticipation of the Fed decision. So in fact, if you'll take a look at the interest rates performance and on the 10 year yield uh, performance. So here as you can see that they are not dropping actually. So yes, there was minor bounce yesterday, but it returns that back up to the top. The market stands currently above the 2% on the 10 yield. On the dollar index, you also could see that it is not drop, dropping right now. Um, today I have checked the uh, calendar for financial invest, uh, events on the investing.com and they put as expectation, the half percent change from the Fed. So once the geopolitical uh, situation is a bit calmed down or turning to some routine, investors again turn their uh, attention on domestic financial problems, which is inflation. And with the recent numbers of the 8% euro, euro inflation on CPI, I mean, and 12% month on month inflation, so this is really, well, anticipation is returning of the strong rate change. That makes a pressure on the gold market. And that explains why currently, despite that market stands at the support, we can't get the clear signs of the reversal that, that, that doesn't let us to take the position right now. Because on the daily chart, it seems that market right on spot. So on the level that we have specified, this drop is completed. On the 4-hour time frame chart, you could see that the OP target that we have discussed is also has completed. And even on the hourly chart, if you'll take a look at the minor from this just downside action uh, pattern, it also has been completed. I mean, this, this is of course not the OP, this is uh, XOP, right? So XOP here is also has been completed, guys. But what we have here market shows no reversal patterns by far. So I can't call it as a double repo because we do not have any attempt to break it down and do not see the capitulation of the bulls. It mostly reminds me the capital, uh, the, 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 some kind of the uh, continuation pattern, which is a triangle or something of that sort. So currently we can't use it as background for taking the long position on gold by far. On the four hour time frame chart, theoretically, probably it makes sense, for example, here is we have also nice frost down. So maybe it makes sense to watch here for some print double repo patch, something of that sort. If we will get something around this OP, in this case, we could make the decision on the possible position taken. Currently, of course, you could try to anticipate this, but it's very difficult to you will be to find a place uh, where you hide your stop, where you place it. Uh, because volatility might increase around it, lots of spikes, fakes uh, might be. So that will be not very pleasant moment to uh, pass through. And uh, in the current circumstances, usually I prefer uh, to, if I do not have clear pattern, I prefer to wait for them. Despite we have the strong important event, scam and retail sales, by the way, also will be important for the gold market. Uh, but with the all background that we have, I mean, anticipation of the 50% rate change, the dynamic of the interest rates, all this stuff stands not in favor of the 
gold. That's why we need more insurance for taking the position. And from that standpoint, I prefer to wait and see what will happen. Particularly speaking, I prefer to get clear bullish reversal pattern if pullback starts. Target of this pullback should be around this area. Uh, so it's rather a significant distance to, to, to pass. And uh, if we will miss a bit entry um, with the entry pattern, I do not see this will be some strategy. So that's just my conclusion. I'm a bit conservative uh, on this moment. Uh, you could act differently if you would like to. Maybe you have your own tools to identify where reversal starts. But this is uh, what I usually do when I do not see when I see the clear support area, but I do not have yet the clear signs of the reversal. I prefer to wait.